If I want to find the largest and smallest angle of this triangle, it's actually not too difficult because I know the lengths of the sides of the triangle. Okay. The largest angle is always going to be across from the largest side, and the smallest angle is always going to be across from the smallest side. So this is the largest side here, so this will be the largest angle. So angle Y is the largest. And let me just put is. If I want to find the smallest one, I need to find the angle across from the smallest side. The smallest side is 8, so the smallest is angle Z. That's it. There's a few different ways you can do this. Um, you can go ahead and draw a triangle and try to um, use these values so that it'll be easy for you to determine which is across from it. Okay, But a quicker way is to say, okay, whatever angle is not represented here, so for example, the letter B is not represented in this side, then that's the angle that is across from it. So angle B is across from this one because the letter C is not within this. That means angle C is across from it. And because the letter D is not in here, that means angle D is across from it. So whichever of these sides is the smallest, the angle across from it will be the smallest angle. Whichever of these sides is the largest, the angle across from it will be the largest. So if I wanted to order these from smallest to largest, I just need to order these sides from smallest to largest. So this would be the smallest, so angle D is the one across from that. Okay, And then this one is the next one, so angle C would be the next one, and then angle B would be the largest. If I want to find the shortest side of this triangle, I just need to find the smallest angle. The shortest side will be across from the smallest angle. Well, this is 25 degrees, so this would be the shortest side. So LN is the shortest side. And then the second one would be whichever one is across the second largest, or the second smallest angle. So 75, so that means NM. then across from 80, so LN, LM, excuse me, 